Right, so this wee question is about how you calculate angles within a polygon. So a polygon is essentially a shape with straight edges. So what we've got here is a five-sided polygon and they're basically asking you to calculate this shaded area. Now what you do with this, you need to think of a circle. Right? And the reason why I'm saying that is if I get a pen that actually works, let's see. Right, if I draw a wee circle here. Right. Now remember there's 360 degrees in a circle. And this is made up of five triangles. Okay, so these are five identical triangles. Now there's 360 degrees here, okay? And 360 degrees has to be split between these five triangles because if you think about it, this triangle is taken a fifth of the 360. This is another one that's taken a fifth. This is another one that's taken a fifth. Okay, so to actually work out the angle here, okay, it looks a bit messy now, is actually you just work out a fifth of 360. So what we do is that's 360, divide that by 5. Just to double check, don't make a daft wee mistake. I will then divide that by 5. And that's 72. So that actually means that this inner angle, angle here, that's 72 degrees. Okay, now, if it's one triangle that we're looking at, we know that one triangle is 180 degrees. Okay, so if you add up all the angles, so if we add up, if we look at this angle, and this angle, we know that this is 72, and we know that it's an isosceles triangle, so this angle and that angle must be the same. So what we've got is we can account for 72 degrees of the 180, so if we actually subtract 72 from the 180, okay, that gives us 108 degrees, and that 108 degrees has to be split equally between these two. Okay, because we know in this an isosceles triangle, these are two angles are the same. So what we do is we just say well 108, divide that by two, okay, and that gives you 54 degrees. So what we now know is this angle here. That's 54 degrees. Same with that one, that's 54 degrees. This one here's 54 degrees as well. Okay, so they're all 54 degrees. Now, they're not asking you to calculate this one side. What they're asking you to calculate is this one. And you'll see that that is essentially not the best drawn, but that's 254 degrees. So what we've got here is we have essentially we're just doing the opposite of that. So Shaded angle this equals 54 times 2. Didn't really need to happen in the first place, and that's 108 degrees. So, just when you've seen something like this, it could be 10 sided, it could be 3 sided, it could be 8 sided. So, you just count how many triangles are in it and divide that into 360, and that actually gives you the size of the inner angle and then after that you then think about what you have left so you get 180 subtract the side you, or the angle you already have and equally spread it between the two angles and then if you've got two angles joined together you just double it but that's essentially that's just a wee recap of the starter that you did today